here the question number 33 a torsional pendulum consists of a solid disc connected to a thin wire alpha is equal to 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 per degree centigrade at its center find the percentage change in the time period between peak winter and peak summer winter 5 degree centigrade summer 45 degree centigrade but here torsional pendulum time period of torsional pendulum so here first of all i will write like this time period of torsional pendulum t is equal to 2 pi times root over i by k this is very very important one but here what about i is equal to that is i naught times 1 plus 2 alpha theta in the previous problem we did like this now in peak winter here in peak winter temperature how much here given 5 degrees centigrade now here t is equal to 2 pi times square root over i means what is that here i naught times 1 plus 2 into what about alpha here alpha into theta how much here 5 divided by k so that means here t1 is equal to 2 pi times square root over i naught times 1 plus 10 alpha divided by k this is t1 and next peak summer so here in peak summer that is 45 degrees centigrade 45 degrees centigrade now here that is t2 is equal to 2 pi times square root over i naught times 1 plus 2 into alpha into 45 divided by k is equal to 2 pi times square root over i naught times 1 plus 90 alpha divided by k but here which one required find the percentage required so that's why t2 by t1 i will take like this here t2 divided by t1 t2 divided by t1 means which one gets cancelled k gets cancelled 2 pi gets cancelled i naught also cancelled so the remaining which one here square root over 1 plus 90 into alpha divided by square root over 1 plus 10 into alpha now here square root over 1 plus 90 into what is alpha 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 divided by square root over 1 plus 10 into 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 this is t2 divided by t1 so here t2 divided by t1 equal to square root over 1 plus this one 0 0.00216 divided by square root over 1 plus 0 0.00024 so here t2 divided by t1 is equal to square root over 1.00216 divided by square root over 1.00024 now here after calculating the root which one we are getting here t2 divided by t1 equal to square root of that 1.001079 divided by 1.00119 but here i want to calculate the percentage error so that's why i will take like this t2 by t1 minus 1 is equal to 1.001079 divided by 1.000119 minus 1 so here 
it is percentage we want to calculate means it should be multiplied with 100 multiplied with 100 so here percentage error here what happens now is equal to 1.001079 minus 1.000119 divided by 1.000119 into 100. So now here subtraction of this one we are getting here 0 0.000956 divided by 1.000119 into 100. So here division of this one 0 0.000 959 into 100. So here on multiplication of that 0 0.0959 is equal to 9.59 into 10 to the power of minus 2 or otherwise 9.6 into 10 to the power of minus 2. This is the solution for question number 33.